everybody, my name is Heather Finley. You can maybe hear my cat meowing in the background, so I apologize. I also apologize for the weird lighting. I forgot that it's the time of year that I've got to film early, so apologies. Anyways, let's dive into what I read during the month of October. Um, I only finished six books, but I actually am in the middle of like a 1200 page book that I got like halfway through, so I feel like I did read a lot this month. So let's dive into it. Uh, the first book I read was Final Girls by Riley Sager. This is the story about a group of girls where they all are survivors of horrible massacres and then some drama starts to go down. So I actually really enjoyed this book. Um, the comment I made to several of my friends was I feel like there's been so many books that say like for fans of Gone Girl and all of those books have really fallen flat for me. But this one did not. It started out slow but once I got into it the mystery really kept me guessing. I was very happy with how it ended overall. Oh kitty's running around. Um, I could definitely see it being made into a movie or a TV series or something like that. So yeah, I enjoyed that book. Um, after that, I was off to Brussels, so on vacation I read a handful. Uh, the first one I finished was Notorious 19 by Janet Ivanovic. Uh, these are, this is part of the Stephanie Plum books, which are a bounty hunter, and I don't really want to give anything away on plot, but these books are all enjoyable. They are formulaic once you get into reading a few of them, but they're funny, the characters are likable, and... Yeah, just overall thumbs up. I really enjoyed all the books I read this month. <laughs> After that, I finished The Heiresses by Sarah Shepard. Um, Shepard, you'll recognize that name from Pretty Little Liars, Lion Game. Um, she's had a couple other series. Her series are normally very, like, cookie cutter-esque, but this one was totally different. Um, it's about a bunch of cousins that are all, are all part of a diamond industry family, so they're all very rich, and then um, they start to, one of them gets murdered. So it's trying to figure out what happened and why. And there's a lot of family drama, a lot of, um, they all have such big secrets and different things going on. There really was an enjoyable read, and I would say honestly one of Shepard's best books. I think it's being made into a TV series as well, so I'm excited to check that out. After that, I finished Take Down 20, also by Janet Ivanovic. Again, if if you want a quick, easy, enjoyable, funny read, go for these books. Uh, they're not perfect, but they're fun. <laughs> After that, I finished Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. John Green is one of my all-time favorite authors, so it's so exciting that he put out a new book. Um, this is the story of a girl that suffers from various, like, OCD behaviors and um, yeah obsessive compulsive I think is what we're going for some mental disorders but she also gets sucked into this whole mystery of a guy that she used to be friends with his father goes missing and just kind of interacting with her friends and this guy and just her own mental like spiral all the way down um, I ended up with a lot of copies of this book so I originally ordered one off of Amazon that came signed that I gave to my mom this one was signed when I went to the Pals event with my friend Lindsay, and I also brought, bought a French copy in Brussels because I always try to buy a book as a souvenir, so yeah, this one is what I came home with. The last book I finished of the month was So Much I Want to Tell You by Anna Aconda. She is a YouTube comedian, for those that don't know, and her sister committed suicide. So this is kind of her story of things that have happened since, life lessons she wished she could have passed on to her sister, dealing with her sister's death, that kind of stuff. Obviously a very heavy subject matter, but she's very funny, a very relatable person. Um, one thing that I really liked is there was a part of the book where she kind of talks about how she suggest everyone always carefully read their contracts and then she kind of went into a whole story about something that happened with a, uh, I believe it was a TV show she was working on. And that to me just kind of is something that a lot of people maybe wouldn't be so raw and honest about. So I really enjoyed that and yeah, it was a very quick read, very fun. Thumbs up. So that's all the books I finished this month, but I also, while I was away in Brussels, finished a whole bunch of comic books on my Kindle, so just I'll quickly run down <laughs> what all I finished. I read 
Archie Volume 1, which is sort of similar to what you see on Riverdale, but not completely. And it was awesome and hilarious. After that, Jughead Volume 1, which was enjoyable, but later on I would want to like more. <laughs> After that, let's see, Archie Volume 2, which definitely just fell in line with what was happening in the first one. Um, Road to Riverdale Volume 1. This one actually is the first issue of, let's see, Archie, Jughead, Josie and the Pussycats, um, Reggie and I. And there might have been one other. I don't think it was Sabrina, but maybe it was Sabrina. So, yeah, you got kind of a little taste of each one, which is cool. And then I did Jughead Volume 2, which is my favorite out of all of them I read. Um, he meets Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, and I love Sabrina that is in the comic books, um, in the Jughead comic books specifically. She's so just like nice and funny and such a just great character. What we, what we remember from the TV show basically, and Salem shows up and it's just, that was such a good one. <laughs> the last uh, comic I finished was Winter Soldier Volume 1, where Bucky and Natasha are all teamed up and kicking some mage ass, so fun times. Yeah, so let me know what you've been reading in the last month, and I'll be back next month. Uh, it's probably going to be a pretty good reading month, because I've already finished two. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!